Hi, and welcome to the Building Relationships with Students Professional Development video. My name is Sarah Martin, the Student Support Services TOSA here in Palm Springs Unified School District. Today's PD will focus on defining rapport building, the rationale behind building rapport with students, and some specific strategies to use when building rapport with our students. A welcoming quote for us to read today is, students are more likely to be engaged in learning when meaningful relationships exist between them and their teachers. So we're going to take a look at the meaning of building rapport. When we build rapport, we have a friendly, harmonious relationship that is characterized by trust, agreement, mutual understanding or empathy. That relationship makes communication possible and perhaps even easy. Some characteristics of building rapport include active listening, positive encouragement and reinforcement, respectful behavior toward the teacher, peers, and classroom, awareness of students' feelings, gratitude for help received, and forgiveness. For a trust to truly form in a relationship, good rapport must be established and maintained. Like any other social-emotional skill, compassion can be cultivated when we build relationships. Now we will take a look at the rationale behind building rapport with our students. Building relationships minimizes anxiety, increases student participation, structures and encourages social interaction, fosters a positive learning environment, and increases learning. There are many, many research articles and videos that support this. Here's a list of just a few. There are several effective qualities that teachers possess and use related to rapport building. A few that I would like to highlight are accessibility, approachability, modesty, personality, empathy, and humor. Really, it comes down to showing respect for others' points of view. Building rapport in the classroom sets the stage for learning outcomes and it can encourage participation from students. Feeling safe in the classroom can help students take more of the risks needed to engage in higher levels of thinking and learning, and high levels of student-teacher rapport creates a positive learning environment. Next, we're going to be considering some specific strategies for rapport building. An important way to begin our work of building relationships with students is to take an honest look at our daily interactions and the status of our relationships with our students. There are some students with whom positive interactions will be easy and others with whom interactions tend to be more negative despite our best efforts. Building true rapport with our students requires intentional work, so we're going to discuss some strategies to help. The first strategy I'm going to highlight is share your stories. Telling stories about your life is one of the easiest ways to connect with students. It helps students to see you as a real person and builds connections with your students in a fairly organic manner. Use this strategy when opportunities arise throughout lessons or activities. You can also plan times to use this strategy. Talk to your students about how you saw things when you were a student. Bring in a picture of yourself when you were at your student's age. Talk about what your favorite activities were or talk about your life now. Let your students learn about your interests and hobbies. Which leads us into sharing interests with students. Today's students have a wide range of interests and showing them that you are interested in what they are interested in can be extremely beneficial. Show students that you respect their interests, ask them questions and show genuine interest in their hobbies. This will quickly develop connections outside of the classroom with some of your hardest to reach students. Another strategy to try is to have a sense of humor. Students need to find humor in their day. You can have fun while maintaining strong classroom management. At appropriate times, find the humor. If something strikes you as funny, tell your students why. 
Another idea is to incorporate a daily or weekly joke. Have your students bring school appropriate jokes to class and allow them to share them with their peers. Having a sense of humor builds connections, eases tension, and engages students. Also, you could attend student events. Students truly enjoy seeing their teacher in the real world. Attend sporting events, competitions, productions, or recitals. This shows the students that you care about them beyond the classroom and it builds connections outside of school. Another strategy is the two by 10 relationship building, originally coined the two minute intervention by researcher Raymond Wilkowski. In an intervention that, <laughs> it's an intervention that helps build teacher-students relationships, reinforces positive behaviors, and conveys genuine support to an individual who might be typecast as a challenging student. Basically, the teacher has a conversation with the student for two minutes for 10 consecutive school days. This reinforces positive behavior and conveys genuine support. Keep the content focused on the student's personal interest when having these conversations. Try not to talk about schoolwork or behavior and be consistent. Ask open-ended questions and be a positive role model. And spend one-on-one -on -one time with your students. This will foster feelings of safety and allows the students to speak openly and honestly with you. This strategy builds rapport very quickly. The last thing I want to mention is the 73855 rule. It indicates that only 7% of all communication is done through verbal communication or the words we speak, whereas the nonverbal components of our daily communication, such as the tonality of our voice, make up 38% and 55% comes from the speaker's body language and facial expressions. Above all, try to be kind. Give the students a fresh start with every interaction that you have with them. To close this PD video, I wanted to share this graph. We come to school and lead our students every day, and this graph shows traits that define truly great leaders. Here is the PD at a glance if you'd like to pause and take notes. And thank you so much for watching.